So, I want you to react, Marco, to the pageant of Miss Universe Philippines. I show you clips, question and answer, okay. and the candidates, the top five. So, tell me why Miss Eloelo is the winner. Okay. So, after looking at the top five uh, contestants, the number ones, um, for me, the decision where they selected Miss Ilo Ilo um, was valid because she had uh, some unique qualities, traits, and characteristics. So for beginners, it was her eyes. They, they were sort of um, a more of an exotic, uh, deep look in her eyes. Uh, could be from her heritage, her family mix. You know, our genes are what make us. So that was a distinguishing feature. She did have high cheekbones. Again, this is another thing that beauty pageants and models and modeling agencies look for. Uh, she also had a, a good figure, right? So it's kind of the hourglass figure back to magazines and, and beauty pageants and modeling, right? So she had all of these these features that made her uh, beautiful uh, to look at. And now there are a couple of the other girls, again, they had good figures and they had great faces. And the number two one with the blue dress, uh, she had uh, very high cheekbones, uh, a nice wide face. So it was obvious. Tall. Tall, tall, slender, uh, obviously very beautiful as well. But uh, then we come to the question and answer, right? The sort of like testing the intellect type thing. Yeah. For that situation, um, I think many, I think at least three of the five uh, finalists did a good job. Two of them, I think, kind of missed it. They just didn't get a good answer off when it came to the, um, the COVID one for what was, what's the significance of a beauty pageant in COVID era. And then they had the other gen uh, gen gen general question for each each person. So Miss the the Ila Ila one, she uh, had a good answer for um, I believe it was if we're going to do a new paper currency, who would you put on that currency? And I don't recall the lady's name, but she picked a historical figure, uh, somebody that's really relevant in in her life because I guess she was also from Ilo Ilo. And also someone that, I guess, did some great service for the Philippine people. Now, that answer could have been to any question. It wasn't about making a new currency. It was about who in the Philippines would you admire? What person in the Philippines would you say gave great contributions? So I thought it was a genuine answer. Um, I, I don't know if they said there was any controversy that she had, you know, advance notice. But that, uh, there's, there's really no way because you could see when they asked the question. If I were given the chance, I want to use the faith. She started with, well, you know, I believe, I feel that, and that shows the person searching for the answer. And then she came up with it. So I thought that was good. And then in the COVID question, kind of a difficult one, what's the significance of a beauty pageant in the COVID era? And she, she did a pretty good answer. And, and everybody, they sort of said, yes, we want to show that we won't be defeated, so to speak, or that, you know, We've got to be out there and be, uh, you know, sort of a, a highlight for people to believe in and show that they can't crush our character. These are things that even if you asked me that question, I, I would have come up with it. So her answer was good, good as all the other ones. But in reality, she just stood out more. She had different features that made her unique. Unique means that you remember. And she stood out more uh, when she came on stage. She had presence. She had confidence. But her, when she answered a question, she did it in a way of uh, it just kind of like just talking. It, well, it wasn't just talking. It bounced from her. She kind of like came and she, she really believed. It, it's like she believed her answer yeah. that she came up with herself. If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Elonga. But what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Whereas, to be honest, the number two candidate uh, finalist. The, the one with the blue. With the blue. It, it, it doesn't look like she came up with that answer and believed in it. It looks like it was a rehearsed and practiced over years. But most importantly, she is somebody that brings hope. When she wears that crown on her head, it's not just because she's the most beautiful girl in the room, but it's because she's the woman who inspires hope. She's the woman who inspires love. 
and productivity and somebody being authentic. And a beauty queen is somebody that we should always look up to. She How about the Messi Bufa Civic? Uh, Miss Eva Pacific, very pretty girl, right? I, I don't know what airline she worked, but... She well, the one in the yellow dress, which is Cebu's colors. But she was, uh, you know, a very nice looking girl. But the problem is, is that even with me, right? Like if I smile, people are like, wow, I looks great. I don't smile, right? People, you look a little bit aggressive. And her answers, she didn't have a smile on for any part of her answer. We have fought long and hard for our right to suffrage. And this is not something that we should waste. For us to be able to complain and be able to appreciate the things that we have as Filipino citizens, we have to vote. We have to participate in selecting our leaders. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so she comes across a little bit serious and it's you know unfortunate, but it's a beauty pageant. You kind of got to glitz it up a little bit. You got to add a little drama, a little flair, a little charisma, a little pizzazz. And the last girl that answered, the one with the blue dress, the yes. top and the skirt, yeah, the with way the... she answered, what do you think? Well, like I said, it looks like the answers were the ones that she coached, that, yeah. that was coached to her. Because each one of these girls have coaches. They don't just roll out of bed. But and I was thinking it's not like from her heart when she talked. In my experience with the pandemic and being in one of the most prestigious pageants in the Philippines, I have realized that pageants are something that can give Filipinos hope. And it's something that can give Filipinos something to look forward to. It's something that we as Filipinos, as a pageant-loving nation, it's something that we're so proud of. It's something that gives us life. And that's the relevance of what a pageant is. We help each other out, we help other people, and we help ourselves grow. We help each other prosper through any negative aspect. The one it wasn't genuine. It wasn't, her answer did not feel genuine. She had, Whereas, like I said, the Ilo Ilo one had a little bit of like a little bounce and a little, you know, she kind of answered the question. She was excited. Yeah. Whereas when it went to that other one, she kind of answered it and looked left and looked right. And she had just kind of this appearance of being like the conceited girl at school, like the prettiest girl at school that would kind of like... The Bohol, uh, you know. She was nice, but uh, she was she was beautiful and not necessarily a pageant yeah. like person you know you, you have to have this certain drive that it's okay Something to stand authentic out and yeah. more exotic yeah face. she she and she could have won i think pageants are now an amazing platform to show that not our not all our dreams are are canceled they're just put on hold and for us we're lucky that we're still able to make this one dream come true to stand here to spread hope to rally people together in action and conversation and spark change and together I'm sure we can make a positive impact out there on this stage that is the essence of beauty pageants in the time of the pandemic as could have number two they yeah. all all the top five right yeah. but as to why the Miss Ilo Ilo uh, did it uh, why she got picked I believe it's because of all of those characters she had the the good face the look the eyes um, all these things okay. thank you Marco for that congratulations to all of them yes well there's my review guys I hope you liked it uh, they were all beautiful congratulations to the Philippines and to Miss Philippines don't forget to like subscribe and share and come back and see some more thanks for thanks for coming by Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. ciao.